With Tonomi, teachers and school administrators get soft skills intelligence about critical classroom competencies, such as collaboration, content knowledge, communication, and risk-taking. This unique approach establishes a baseline of skill strengths and gaps, enhances self-awareness, and helps address skill gaps with personalized learning and professional development. In this demonstration, you will first see individual use by teachers, and then you will see examples of the administrative analytics. So first, teachers receive an email with a link. When they click on this link, they come to a dashboard like this one. These are five standards aligned to the ISTE standards for teachers. Each standard gets its own section. The first time it takes 15 to 20 minutes per section and each teacher can go at her own pace. After teachers complete a section, the dashboard evolves. Now it connects to the assessment result and to tailored professional development options. So let's see the results experienced first. Notice that each standard includes different competencies and there are five in this section. Because usually people think they're competent in a given standard, but that doesn't mean that they have skill proficiency in all aspects of the standard. Therefore, we have broken down each standard into competencies to eliminate gray area. Let's look at the first competency. After the self-assessment, a teacher sees up front two out of three dimensions of awareness. In this case, a teacher feels that she is partially proficient but answers show unsatisfactory level of proficiency. This kind of upfront and visual representation enhances the awareness that her perception may not be aligned to the actual proficiency, an indication that she possibly needs support in this area. Our user can also review each question and answer in context to others in her community. First question shows how she feels about her skill level and the rest of the questions illustrate what answers show. These questions are based on real-life classroom examples, and during the initial assessment, eight questions for authenticity are mixed together with the other question. And as teachers move from one competency to the next, they realize that they may be proficient in some areas and still have gaps in other areas. So you can stop with a self-reported assessment. However, teachers can also get confidential feedback from their peers. And these peers can be other teachers, evaluators, even students or parents. You can ask anyone. Peers would answer the same questions but asked about each user. As we speak to teachers that have completed this step, we'll learn that as a teacher, getting feedback from their community would give the most inspiration to develop their practice. Putting it all together, the software helps optimize available learning and professional development resources to each individual based on their strengths and gaps. To know me being a platform, it means that we can map to any framework with any set of courses and content. In this example, competencies are aligned to the ISTE framework, and the professional development would come from you or your partners. This concludes the first part of the demo. To summarize, our approach will help your teachers reflect on their own practice when it comes to important teaching skills and receive tailored professional development for maximum impact. Now I'm going to show you a sample report from the administrative dashboard to illustrate how easy it is to use the data in meaningful ways. You're seeing a combined view for the reflection competency across over 200 actual teachers in a school district. The information is organized by teachers' years of experience. For administrators, we organize information along the same three dimensions of awareness, self-perception, actual proficiency, and peers' feedback if there is any. In this example, the blue line represents first-year teachers, orange line is for teachers with one to three years of experience, and the teal line shows the most experienced teachers. You can organize the data in any meaningful way from available filters. So for example, by subject area, by grade taught, by school, etc. And as you can see, we can illustrate uh, a trend at the group level, and you can also compare across individual questions to understand the pivot points of skills. In this example, you can see that first-year teachers are overwhelmingly neutral when it comes to student reflection, and that the realization of importance of reflection is part of a more experienced teacher. What this means is the opportunity for observation, differentiated training, or mentoring by more experienced teachers. You can also see responses for individual teachers in context to the mean or any other relevant benchmark. 
This helps identify competent leaders in certain skill levels, and the software can suggest teaching pairing based on common location, grade level, or content area. In conclusion, the implication is that your knowledge of the group's skill set allows you to tailor relevant professional development to every teacher at scale and with data to back it up. Tonomi does the heavy lifting of analysis based on available information to move your decision making from the realm of subjective to objective. Try it for yourself. It's easy to get started and fun to use. Thank you.